He's back! Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 9, and, uh, oh boy, this is one I was looking forward to potentially making, but I had no idea if it was ever going to happen, so we're here. So yesterday, yeah, only yesterday, from when this video is coming out, we got the announcement from the CW that we would be getting not just one, not just two, but three returning guest characters, those being Wally West, John Diggle, and Ramsey, well, yeah, Ramsey Rosa, aka Bloodwork, all of them showing up again in The Flash Season 9, and to be more specific, all of them showing up in the one episode, that being Episode 9. So I think most of us were like, wow, like that's just going to be one hell of a jam-packed episode with all these characters coming back at the same time. Now, what the episode entailed is still up in the air. We don't really know. We've got little teasers, one of which we get in this uh, news that we got, you know, we're going to talk about in a second. But we even got more news today, which I just sort of referenced there, that makes that episode, Episode 9, seem even more crazy but also makes you think more and more just about what the hell this episode will be about and maybe potentially even when it could take place. But yeah, as you can tell from the title, he is back. The man, the myth, the legend, Stephen Amell is back as Oliver Queen and I think specifically Green Arrow apparently. So this makes you question things even more. Now, Stephen had posted on social media recently, like literally over the past handful of days, that he was back in Vancouver where of course the Flash specifically films, but it was made to seem, and I guess most assumed, it might have just been for personal reasons and all that, because I think he was there with his family and stuff like that. Though, there was a slither of, ho of hope, if you want to call it, the tiniest slither, you know, the leftovers from a nice pie or something, that it could be for The Flash. Now, Stephen has, of course, teased and, you know, joked around whether or not he would be showing up in this final season, The Flash, Almost to the point of gaslighting myself and others to insanity. Like, hold on. Is he actually teasing it or is he just, what's he got, what's going on? But yeah, I guess this return is worth the mental torture. And this is what Eric Wallace, the showrunner for The Flash, had to say about the return of the man in green to the final season of not just The Flash, but The Arrowverse. As soon as our final season was announced, we knew we wanted Steven to come back and reprise his iconic role as Oliver Queen. After all, it was Oliver who originally launched Barry Allen on his heroic path. That's why everyone on Team Flash felt so strongly that it was important to create a full circle moment with Oliver's return in the final season of The Flash. The result of Oliver's improbable reappearance is an epic yet emotional episode we hope Arrowverse fans will enjoy. It's all to say thank you to everyone for watching and supporting our show throughout nine wonderful years. We absolutely cannot wait for everyone to see Grant and Steven saving the world together again. And yes, there will be thrills, chills, and tears. Now, I think that's a good statement by Eric Wallace because it doesn't really explain how Oliver's showing up again uh, in this final season, but also let you know that it's not just like a cameo, like a, you know, oh, he walks in, everyone claps, and then he leaves straight away. Like, it's, I guess, some sort of significant role uh, that's going on here. Now, the big thing with this is that it was stated that he is appearing in the same episode as Wally, Diggle, and Bloodwork. So, episode nine. So, that episode is now way more jam-packed than we initially thought, and who knows what the hell's going on with all those characters showing up, even though, like, Diggle, for example, could appear in all the scenes that Oliver's in, for example, or most of them, so it sort of doubles up. But still, it's a lot of returning characters just for one episode, if this is the only episode they're showing up in. Now, one thing that a lot of people were bringing up, and I somewhat agree with it to an extent, depending on what happens, I guess, over the next week or so, because I think they're about to film episode nine, like, literally either in like the next couple of days, like start at the very least or start early next week. So depends what happens over the next week or so. But yeah, why announce Oliver and even these other characters returning like Wally Diggle and Bloodwork and stuff? Aren't you sort of spoiling the surprise? Well, the, the times they usually do this is because set photos, they might be filming in public. So they're worried that set photos will be taken. They normally, you know, if like there's not going to be a public thing where they might be seen in public filming the show, they won't announce it. You know, they won't announce it. Or at the very least, I don't think they would have, would have announced Wally, Diggle and Bloodwork. I think they would have kept that a secret and then maybe announced Steven because it's such a big thing coming back as Oliver. So maybe Steven would have been the only one that was announced and the other three would have been kept as surprises for the episode. So you think you're going into episode nine just thinking, oh, we know Oliver Queen's coming back this, uh, coming back this episode, how good's this? And then you get the other three characters coming back and it's even a bigger surprise. So I'm going to assume there is some public filming there and they're just worried about that. 
Um, and maybe even just people knowing who's in Vancouver. Like if Keenan Lonsdale, David Ramsey, Sendhil Ramamurthy, and Stephen Amell are all seen in Vancouver at the same time, people are going to piece things together. That's just the way it is. And at least you would think the majority of them are going to be in, in, showing up this season. So maybe they just wanted to confirm it themselves rather than other people. So they're just playing it safe. And I somewhat agree with them. It's the better way to go about things. Now, as I said, they sometimes do this because of set photos. Now, that doesn't mean that there will be set photos, but there is a chance. And they would, you know, as I said, rather be the ones that tell us than a photo from 100 yards away saying, oh, there's Stephen Amell dressed as a fairy. I don't know. Like, they'd rather just confirm it themselves than a photo. Now, this leads into another conversation <laughs> because, you know, it's a bit of a weird one with this, with Oliver Queen coming back. But how does Oliver come back? Because spoiler alert, and I guess also the elephant in the room, he is dead. And they, and I think they specifically stated Green Arrow by the looks of it, at least the CW did from what I can tell of various posts going around. Like Eric Wallace, uh, Eric Wallace, sorry, didn't say, oh, he's back as Green Arrow in his statement. But from all the different things I'm saying, it's saying that he's back as Green Arrow. So I'm like a bit confused. Maybe just because that's the character he obviously played on Arrow. That's why they're saying that. So I don't know if he actually is back as Green Arrow, but that's what a lot of the articles are saying that got the press release from the CW. It's a bit, a bit of a confusing one. So it's not 100% Green Arrow, but that's what the different posts are making me think. But anyway, if he is back as Green Arrow, obviously that version of Oliver died. So it'd have to be either like time travel, multiverse, or maybe like dream sort of related, if you want to call it. Now, if it's time travel, this is the one that I think most people would assume would be the case if it's Green Arrow showing up because, you know, Barry can time travel and you could time travel to a point where you do have like Diggle there as well. But then you'd question like the Wally and Bloodwork aspect, unless it's Wally and Barry time traveling back. But then again, where does Bloodwork play into it? So I think Bloodwork being confirmed for this episode might rule out time travel playing a part, I think, at least in regards to it being like the main thing for the episode and maybe the reason why Oliver would show up. So maybe there is time travel and maybe you do see Oliver in a time travel thing, but that's not the reason for uh, specifically Stephen Amell coming back. Maybe Oliver shows up or he shows up as Oliver in a different way. Um, but time travel is an option just because Barry can do it. So, and obviously because Oliver's dead. Multiverse is another option, but I don't know if they would, well, I guess they could. We've talked about it before. Like they you could easily just have like another Earth Oliver show up and it's very similar to the one we had. But I guess it'd have to be a specific reason for it. And once again, does the episode set that up that randomly this other multiversal uh, Oliver Queen shows up? Like that would make you go, mm, I'm not too sure if that makes sense, especially just for one episode. But it is an option there. But the one thing I think it could be is dream related, but a bit of a twist. Because what if it is nightmare potentially? And that leads into a character I've sort of brought up as a reason why other things couldn't happen. And that is blood work. So Bloodwork would have to come back for a specific reason. I think bringing him, bringing him in to sort of put Barry through the ringer again would be an interesting way to bring some of these characters back, like we saw in season six. So Mary Barry has to go through some moments that Bloodwork is putting him through, and these characters show up. I'm sure we all remember like the uh, the was it the Last Temptation of Barry Allen? I think that was the that was the name of the two parter episode in season six before Crisis. Funnily enough. Um, we could get something with Bloodwork doing that and making Barry go through all the way, maybe like the darker moments in his life. So maybe reliving Oliver's death and stuff like that, but then also Barry fighting it with good moments. So maybe he sees bad moments with Wally, maybe when like Wally was struggling with Savitar and then something is happening, um, with Diggle, which maybe plays into what's happening with Oliver and maybe some other stuff as well with characters that are still on the show, like Iris and Caitlin and Joe and whoever it might be. And maybe even like someone that's got to be recurring throughout the season who's, not on Team Flash at the moment or something like that. So it could be nightmare related that Bloodworks putting Barry through, which I think would be a cool way to do it because that allows you to bring back characters that are dead like an Oliver Queen, but not have to do time travel, not have to do multiverse. And it still feels real because it's Barry experiencing something that did happen. So maybe he gets, as I said, like the, the darker sides with like Oliver, like maybe his death and everything in crisis, but then also the lighter moments that he had. And then we might see some stuff with him and Oliver, that didn't happen on screen. Like it was stuff that happened off screen. Like we know that they hung out and did stuff off screen, even like fought villains and stuff as like the Justice League, if you want to call it off screen. So they could easily show us something along those lines 
as well. And I think this is a, a, a decent way to do it. Now, a lot of people are wondering like, what are the chances of the Spectre showing up? And I think a cool way to do it if, if it is blood work, if, if blood work is the, like the, the reason that Barry's going through all this stuff, that maybe the Spectre breaks Barry out of blood work's grips. If, uh, you know, if that's exactly what's going on in the episode, I think that'd be pretty cool. Especially if like, like the Spectre needs to. If the Spectre's sitting there going, look, well, I need sort of the Flash to help me out here. He's sort of like meant to be saving the world and stuff over the next couple of years. I sort of need to get him out of this. So maybe the Spectre steps in and helps or he shows up in some other way. I think he'll show up as the Spectre. I don't know... I think if you bring back Steven to play just a role on this show, obviously you'd make him play Green Arrow again one last time. I mean, that's a no brainer, but also let him play Spectre because that's the current version of him that's out there, if you want to call it. So I'd, I'd say we see him as Spectre, but I think the majority of the time we see him on screen will be as just your normal Oliver Queen or Green Arrow. Now, one thing is that we know these characters are all showing up in episode nine. Wally, Bloodwork, Diggle, Oliver, they're all in episode nine. But are all these characters only only going to be in episode nine so none of them will show up in other episodes and it's hard to tell most people including myself would have preferred oliver for example being in the finale for the flash if he was going to show up which could still happen and, and maybe diggles there as well maybe wally's in the finale as well but then again these actors have schedules and this might have been the episode that lined up perfectly for everyone to be in and to make the story work but it wouldn't shock me if like one of these actors or one of these characters that of wally dig or blood or oliver is in another episode. Like Wally might be in two episodes, but this is the first episode he's back and everything like that. And even Diggle could show up in another episode as well. Who knows? But this is the episode that they're highlighting as like a big guest star episode. So it makes sense that they would promote it this way and say, oh yeah, they're all going to be in episode nine, but they're also not saying that they any of these characters won't be in other episodes. That's a way and find out. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it and show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on this. Are you excited to have Oliver Queen showing up again one last time? Let me know your thoughts down there. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.